Whoa. My signature dish is going to help me stand out because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it an exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops, with caviar and white chocolate, and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. stop. Let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops, chopped up, caviar, and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. <laughs> Raw venison, Raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. Unreal. Who's cooked the diapers? No diapers, sir. That's smoked chicken enchiladas with poblano cream sauce. My name is Colleen. 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 What do you do for a living? I uh, am a culinary instructor. I own a recreational cooking school. And were you a trained chef before you set up the school? No, I am not a trained chef. So you're not a trained chef, yet you teach chefs to That's cook? That's correct. How much do you charge? 300 per three to four hours. Right. What's the size of it? I feed big Nebraska boys. Would Just you like me to get you a bite? No, 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 I'll bite it myself. Ah. Okay. You seriously charge $300 to teach people how to make that crap? Yes, yes, chef. I feel like I need some plastic wrap on my ass. It was extremely difficult to stand there and to keep my mouth shut. I teach manners too, chef. Say that again. OK, please, Miss Manners, fuck off back in line. What is it? It is a chicken fried ribeye with Yukon gold mash and white truffle cream gravy. I actually have a little sugar in there. Stop, say that again. I have sugar in there. That's what my mother always did. I do not know who in their right mind would put sugar in mashed potatoes. Just try it. Chef Ramsay is going to love it because it's freaking delicious. It's like an orgasm in your mouth. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. That is disgusting. What the fuck is that on a plate? I call this the uh, punch drunk chicken. I got the southern flavor. You know, I put a lot of flavor in the food, raw but real. So if Chef Ramsay complains about it, well, he's full of shit, man. Hold on, it gets worse. The pineapple looks like canned. Yes. Sir. You open a can of pineapple and you stick it on top of a chicken. Limited time today. Limited time. Forty-five minutes. Limited time. You're so full of shit, even your eyes are brown. While well, you come in here and serve me a canned fucking pineapple, you can fuck off now. Serious? I'll pay for the ticket. You tell me. No, sir. It's an absolute freaking mess. But the surprising fact was you opened it out of a can. That's what pissed me off more than anything. I'm not even going to taste it. Ladies, congratulations. It's called Moe's Pasta. Who needs a perfect score of five to win for the women? Tell me about the marinara sauce. I want to know how you made it. It's just from a jar. <laughs> so you didn't even make the marinara sauce? No. I don't think there's anything wrong with canned sauce. Unless you're from fucking Italy and you're like born as an Italian, you're not going to be making your sauce from scratch all the time. No, if you wanted it, you should have just told me. I would have did it. You came oh, I've got to tell you what I want. Yes. Fuck uses jar tomato sauce for Chef Ramsay. Who does that? <sighs> Most pasta, one out of five. Okay, got it. I was in the cookie aisle and I was looking at cookies. What in the fuck is that? <laughs> that is ginger crusted chicken. I was in the cookie aisle. I was trying to get ideas and they have ginger cookies. Ginger, ginger cookie crusted chicken breast. Yeah. 
That's what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were inspired in the cookery aisle, not the fucking pet food aisle. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God, really? Oh. I mean, that is hideous. Sorry. One out of five. I'm not really used to people spitting out my food, so it was very embarrassing. Right. Grow banana? That's mine, chef. I'm a redneck. I like to haunt a lot, like duck or gators or whatever. You know, it's fun because then I get to bring that home and cook it. And the name of the dish is what? Mahi Gone Bananas, Chef. It looks like you've gone slightly bananas. It's hideous. Back in line. Ramsey's definitely just looking for a rise out of me, which he's going to eventually get. So the idea came from where? I just pulled it out of my ass, sir. Put it back in there, because it sucks. Tortellini, what's inside the filling? It's just a cheese. It's a packaged tortellini, fresh tortellini. Packaged fresh tortellini. That's how it's sold, chef. Please tell me you use fresh tomatoes. Uh, they were canned tomatoes. Come on, that was a joke. His whole meal came out of a box. Who does that? You know, you, you're cooking for Chef Ramsey. Congratulations, that was delicious. Well done, ladies. Thank you! Yeah, all right. Yeah. Next two dishes, let's go. I'm a little insulted. It's not like it's packaged dog food. Fuck, oh, that's bullshit, bro. Come here, you. What did you just say? Ooh. Yeah, OK. If you got anything to say to me, say it to my face, not my back. You got it. Fuck off. Yeah. What I have here is a grilled hickory rub watermelon. Seriously? You had 45 minutes to make me anything, and you grill me a slice of fucking melon. Yes, sir. <laughs> the rub certainly doesn't work. I'm disappointed. It's underwhelming. One. <laughs> what in the fuck? Happy Halloween. People ask me what my specialty is, but I don't have a specialty. I can cook anything. What is that? There's um, a Cornish hen inside there. A Cornish hen? What did you do to it to get it in there? It got, got in there. I got it in there. Holy shit. <laughs> These are potatoes? Yes, sir. And how much grease and fat and oil did you fry in? There's some butter in there. Some butter in that? It's a lot of butter. We'll stop there, yeah? OK, OK. That goes in there, All yeah? Right. And let's see what we've got for trick or treat, shall we? OK. Oh, my god. How do you get in there and eat it? I mean, am I missing a trick? It's plated table side. Bro. Oh. How it's, it's, it's presented like yeah, that. Yeah, perfect. Right, take your time. OK. 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 Oh, my god. Uh, that's enough there, yeah. That's enough, OK. I don't think I'll get through all that, do you? OK, no. So what's the uh, dish called? Hen in a pumpkin. Right now, looking at that mess, I'd like to stick your fucking head in there, you know that? But it's dry. Yeah. Well... And the pumpkin's not even seasoned inside, it's just bland. You had more chance sticking a candle in there, making me happy, for Halloween you were sticking a hen in there. Fuck off. Chef Ramsay said he was looking for something memorable, and I believe that my dish was memorable. It's chicken Caesar Piadina. There's a reason why I don't put fresh crisp salad on a hot pizza. Honestly, it looks terrible. The dough's uneven. How do you make that dough so quick? Um, it was a prepared dough. So you didn't make the dough? No. Is it an authentic Caesar dressing? Pre-made. Kevin. Store-bought dough? Store-bought Caesar salad dressing. Let me ask you something. Do you want to go home? Oh, God. This is not good. I'll do better, Chef. You'll do better? I will. I can show you I will. One out of five. That's all you get. <laughs>